Before operating the machine, thoroughly read safety and operation information in the operator's manual. The Daily Service Mode screen allows the operator to select the service function of wrap load mode and in addition on the CP690, row unit tether, and lube and tether modes. Press the wrap load button to enable the wrap load system. The power module tether becomes active and the screen displays tether button assignments for the wrap load process. On the CP690, press the tether button to enable the row unit tether for service or cleaning operations. Press the lube and tether button to enable the row unit tether and onboard row unit lube system. In either of the two tether modes, the tether will not be enabled if the operator's seat is occupied and an alarm banner will be displayed informing the operator of the operator presence violation. The alarm cannot be cleared by acknowledgement. Rather, the operator must set the parking brake and leave the seat prior to tether use. Press the Engine Information button on the home screen. Three sets of information are displayed to the operator on this screen. The upper left cell displays cumulative engine and fan hours for the life of the machine. The right cell is the engine power meter which displays the current engine power level during machine operation. On machines with Tier 4 engines, the lower left cell is the Exhaust Filter Cleaning Options screen. Refer to the Operator's Manual Exhaust Filter Systems section for detailed information. Press the Transport Mode button to display the Transport Mode screen. A machine graphic in Transport Configuration will appear in the center of the screen. The power module tether is used for transport configuration changes. The tether button assignments are shown on the transport mode screen. Complete step-by-step -step transport mode changes will be demonstrated in the transport mode configuration changes section. Press the round module builder or RMB service mode button to display the RMB service mode screen. RMB service functions are available to allow operators to inspect and service RMB components. Operators can also perform manual control functions using the power module tether that otherwise would be executed only in sequence by the RMB controller. The RMB service screen has six separate mode function boxes including RMB service also referred to as the gate and cradle position, service belts, manual wrap, manual eject, feed components service and clean out, and feeder belt service. Press the desired function button. The display changes to a screen with tether button assignments to execute component movement for the selected RMB service function. For more detailed information, refer to the operator's manual.